Hi Virgo, I hope you're all doing well. In today's reading, we'll be looking at whoever you're thinking about for January. Some of you, we have this King of Wands and how the cards are laid out. This is an energy, you're represented here by the Queen of Cups. Someone standing behind you or sitting behind you, they're watching you. They're from your past. I'm not sure you're aware that this person has their eyes on you. And I see reconciliation and the situation moving to the next level. You're quite intuitive is what the cards are indicating, so rely on your intuition, player. Um, you seem to be more emotionally invested. And they were bringing more passion to the table, right? So you both were wanting different things out of this connection, which led to a lot of disappointment, heartbreak, and this is mutual. So whatever happened between you and this individual, the Eight of Swords character, she's blindfolded. She's not seeing a way forward. There's no hope for the future. Pessimism. I'll never find the one. I'll never be happy. I'll never feel the way I felt about this person with anyone else, right? That, that's sort of what's going on. But they're saying you will have that clarity. It's a phase. You will come out of this. You'll heal. And what you don't see coming is... <laughs> A very stable, happy relationship. Ace of Pentacles, Ten of Cups. It's a new beginning here. A lot of you, this is someone completely brand new. It's a new challenge moving to the next level. And I see a lot of harmony, peace within this commitment, this relationship. It'll be something traditional. Some of you, your single parents, this person will be very supportive of you, your child. They'll be there like a rock, which I have with one of your oracle cards. And some of you, you will be building your family, a family together here. So keep exploring is the strongest message here. And regardless, though, there's someone here from your past that still has their eye on you. They really miss you and it's a little bit fixated on you here. And I'm not sure because you have your back turned. It's not telling me, um, Virgo, what you will find attractive about the one. So I'm not going to force the message. But what I can tell you is that you're attracting someone who's quite stable and they'll be very honest with you. And this person won't be confused whether they want you. They're decisive and they'll take action. Um, this person's quite stable. They're solid. Taurus energy. So it's someone you can depend on. That is what is coming through. Can you please tell me, in terms of what you'll find attractive about them, I mean, let me show you this. Look at that bottom deck energy. Three of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles, King of Pentacles, the Lovers, Eight of Pentacles. This is teammates. It's a very practical couple. I'm getting power couple vibes, very ambitious. And you will build a name for yourself. I'm seeing financial security here, lovers. This is a strong, strong, you, you know, bond here, physical attraction. And the more you spend time together, the more you work together and, you know, get to know each other, the stronger this bond gets. It's like it gets better with time is what I'm feeling. And you're both looking for the same thing, similar values, perhaps even similar backgrounds. There's a lot you have in, but it doesn't get better than this. This is a happy marriage commitment. A lot of you, there will be marriage here because the, this pair is normally more traditional. Wow, I love this for you. I don't really have anything to say. And physically, you're exactly each other's type. You can't keep your hands off of each Look at this. I don't think it gets better than I don't really have anything to add to that. It's pretty straightforward. Another creepy, crazy thing that happened. We have career and finances. So we have focused on work, work affecting your love life, trying to improve their finances. Perhaps you're both very um, work focused and this person's in a suit. So again, reference to career and finances, but they're of high status. They're doing something important here in the world. I'm getting extremely hardworking and You'll really appreciate their work ethic, is what I'm seeing. They're very persistent and patient when it comes to achieving their goals, so you won't see this person taking up one thing and abandoning it midway. No, this person doesn't invent, invest in um, short term, right? It's all about long haul, long term for this individual. Sorry, I've been doing a lot of reading, so if I mix up my words, I apologize. 
Okay, this is where it's weird. So we have career and finances waiting. And this other deck, it's a completely different deck. Does, is this not weird? We have waiting, waiting, work, career and finances. Waiting and work, waiting and work. What does this mean? We have focused on work, working hard and long hours, love at work. So definitely you pursuing your goals, working up the ladder working your way up the ladder you run into this person that's confirmation twice and we have waiting holding on to hope not taking action standstill delays some of you you know this person and there is some delays here right and you two coming together but this person has their eye on you they know you and others of you um you've been waiting you've been exploring keeping your options open and it's just a matter of time they're saying they want you to have a more positive mindset because I don't think you see this coming with you being blindfolded. Even the Queen of Cups, she's so invested in that one cup, right? Like she can't see anything else. I'm not gender specific. I'm saying Queen She because of the Queen of Cups, but perhaps you have been um, so focused on this one energy that you're not seeing these other opportunities and one of these opportunities will is the one your person we have out in the cold feeling rejected isolation loneliness scarcity mindset so there's some lack mentality here and these two came together which i found interesting my rock so this is <laughs> through thick and thin no matter what you both go through you know ups and downs there will be obstacles there will be challenges but you both will overcome that right because this person they're not going anywhere they're your rock we have loved and supported solid foundation security and sta stability that is what you both will be creating with each other solid foundation security and stability and this person love will love you they'll support you so if you've been feeling rejected left out lonely not any longer once you meet this person this is for life this is i don't understand i don't think you understand how strong this union is i can't even put it in words i think i was telling who was i telling um i really liked the person that aquarius was attracting but i think this is this is a tie here with aquarius <laughs> Not that this is any competition, but a really beautiful energy. Yeah, passionate lovers. So that's something you really like, the passion between the both of you. Secret desire. Who is this person, King of Wands, standing behind you? Say there's no X in the picture. And this is one person's energy I'm picking up. I'm not even aware they're watching you. Say it's a workplace situation, right? So it's a secret desire, um, secret admirer you have. And it'll take this person some time. They'll start off, you know, co-workers or building a friendship. And they'll work, they'll work your way up from there. Yeah, past hurt. I see that you've both been through similar experiences five of cups three of swords best friend your rock and your best friend that is who you'll end up with we have fleeting romance this is reference to uh, take, keep in mind a virgo not all of the oracle cards will apply to your situation but i was telling you there's an ex here someone who is wanting more passion is with you they'll be completely naked vulnerable with you the lovers what will virgo find attractive about the one they end up some of you you're you're end up with a scorpio with all that passion but more so the energy, so don't get hung up on the signs. That's not, doesn't really matter. We have fiercely protective and loyal, stand strong in their convictions, and can sting if needed to defend their position. This person will be very possessive, protective over you, and you'll like that. You'll feel safe when this person's around you. They're protective and they're extremely dedicated, loyal. They have your back literally standing behind you.
fiercely, fiercely loyal is what I'm getting. It's like that lion energy. What will Virgo find attractive? Defender. <laughs> and do you even see, do you see the sword raised? He's ready to cut off anyone that comes near you. Like, I don't know if this person's going to have like security cameras around. Like, do you see that? Do you see the protection around the queen? There's no one, no one can get to you. If they hear someone bad mouthing you, I'd watch out. This person has a sharp tongue and they can, they can stand up for themselves and you if the need arises. They can be quite aggressive actually, if they feel challenged or someone is, you know, a threat to your family or you. Your person is deeply committed to your connection. They are strong and can be counted on to have your back. Wow, a person with strong air energy must also learn to get in touch with their emotions. I mean, that's something you're good with. So you can teach them a thing or two about expressing themselves. I mean, they'll be supportive of you. They'll lend you the emotions moving your body together. Um, that can be, you know, that passion you're seeing. It's a lot of activity in that aspect of your relationship, but also working out and eating right, um, doing things in moderation, going for walks, jogs. This king of wands has a lot of energy and they will need to burn that somehow. Right? White American. What will Virgo find attractive? Their lips, red lips. Australian. Scar. Tattoos. Something about some markings or tattoos. A man. You like that they're a man. It's masculine energy, really. Someone who's assertive, they take charge, they, they're they self-assured, they're confident, and they go after what they want. Um, especially if you're someone who doesn't like to do the pursuing, this King of Wands likes the thrill, right? They like the chase. They'll come after you. Beauty mark. Again, scar, beauty mark, some sort of distinct mark we have square face and red head which was interesting because the red um hair on the king of wands was really standing out to me as well they're skinny and you really like something about their skin tone light dark doesn't matter it's a general reading but their skin tone you really like what advice do you have for Virgo in regards to the one their long-term partner whatever comes through <laughs> look at that look at that love trip something about travel here oh wow but also personalities you're very different if we look at these two it's like opposites attract but the king and queen of pentacles the more time you spend you'll realize that actually there's a lot you have in common here as well specifically when it comes to what you want out of a long-term partnership and just your values right you're very good people and very down to earth grounded really so you have a lot you can relate over we have happy times you're entering a happier cycle you did the work and overcame so much now it's your turn to receive in a major way it's time you've had enough lessons yeah whatever this was five of cups three of swords extremely painful but you've learned what you needed to do here virgo you're ready to move forward we have love trip wherever you're going make sure to use protection this love trip will be filled with passion passion again and adventure enjoy it you deserve it interesting right they're saying you had enough lessons you deserve it so you're worthy you're worthy of this solid commitment this true love don't doubt yourself you are good enough eight of swords can be insecurity wondering that's funny <laughs> this will be a surprise don't you love when that happens how is Virgo likely to meet this person, the one they end up with? Surprise. They will, they'll be flirting with you. Yeah, first they'll be watching you secretly. And then they'll come up to you and they'll be flirting with you. And they'll make their interest known. They will be the one that's approaching you, I feel. For a lot of you. 
he is so handsome. I wrote those, these a long time ago. Yeah, look, traveling for leisure and traveling for work is how you may meet them. But they're so handsome or beautiful is what is coming through. So instant attraction. It's like love at first sight or lust at first sight, should I say. But there's more, there's more to this. We have you'll be celebrating when you meet this person. Yeah, you'll be extremely happy. You're good enough. What is this? Out of my league? They're not out of your league. They're perfect for you because I see king and queen of wands. I see king and queen of pentacles. And some of you, this person initially, you know, if you feel I don't resonate with that, um, I'm confident. I know who I am, right? That's not a five lines before they approach you. What will Virgo find attractive about their person? You already know through spiritual guidance, so some of you have been getting signs, synchronicities, or messages from other tarot readings, but something of, yeah, this is mutual. Mutual feelings right away. It's love at first sight, and one of you is doubting. Out of my league, I'm not good enough. They're very attractive, just your type. You won't miss them. So if you're worried, you know, how will I recognize? It's pretty obvious. Okay, we have two, 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 three to six months. We have online social media, friends party, get together barbecue. So these are some of the scenarios. Some sort of gathering is also coming through with the celebration, right? But yes, Virgo, that is what I have for you. Hopefully you enjoyed this reading. Take care of yourself. I'll see you next week, hopefully. <laughs> Bye.